guys, as you can see, I have planter wall blocks, which is one dollar ninety eight cents each. So it's kind of like two dollars each. And I have this wood that is pressure treated, but I believe the chemical that they are using is not that bad for us. So. I took it and this is like um, two by two by twelve that's what I remember if you guys want to build a raised bed without using any tools you can just buy this pressure treated wood it's up to you how you want it but me I I bought the 2 by 12 by 10 so it's the thickness is 2 inches while the length of this wood is 8 feet or 10 feet or 12 feet it's up to you I will suggest 8 feet or 10 feet because that's one that's that's the one I got and the weed of the race bed is gonna be four feet it's up to you too what do you want but I will suggest um, four that's a good suggestion and to connect this we will use the planter wall block which you can find in Home Depot and the measurement of this one is seven and three fourth inches length by seven and three fourth width and the height of this one is five and a half inches which is almost six you can use two of these if you will choose to have a 12 inches height my wood is 10 inches height and i have one that is 12 inches high so you need you will need these two blocks together so if you decided to build a raised bed for uh, deep rooted plants like eggplant okra ampalaya those are needing more soil and you decided to have like let's say 12 inches height of raised bed I will suggest you to buy eight pieces of these blocks so that you can connect it to each so per connection you will use two of these blocks and if you just want to have just the lettuce garden or salad garden I think it's okay just to use the six inches um, height of plywood so in my case I just decided to get the 10 inches height and my other one is I believe I have 12 inches height this raised bed that you can see have 12 inches height the length is 10 feet and the width is 4 feet and the thickness of this wood is 2 inches all you have to do is put these two blocks together put this one on the top of this one put this here so as you can see this is 2 by 12 and it is 4 feet long and my other one that I bought is 12 feet long 2 inches thick and 2 inches thick 12 feet long and 
12 inches tall. So this is what I'm talking about early. All you have to do is just insert this this two inches with this one and add up another one the only one thing I like with this is every time you want to transfer you can do that you're just gonna disassemble it and that's it so that's what I did I had a finish one from last year and I think the wood still the wood is still good so that's what I did last year and I'm gonna still continue doing this put the other side here and then we're done it's easy you don't need nails you don't need hammer you know you, you just buy this planter wall and you're good to go this is a uh, 12 feet long and these two sides gonna be four the one that I have in here is eight feet long but I decided to get a little bit longer so I have the uh, 12 12 feet long Okay, and let's do it. I have to add up again the other side of my race bed. I just kind of gonna even out the soil at the bottom so that this will be closed. Okay. Alright. So it's all done. It's so easy. That's how you do it. It's actually raining. That's why I'm doing this. It's more easy. Because you know Texas can be so hot. So I'm taking this advantage of this weather. I think that's it for today. Thank you so much. So this is it. I just gonna fill this up with soil that I'm getting from the landfill. But before that, I wanna till the ground so that uh, the root still can go through at the bottom. With this raised bed, I think I spent like $130. And to fill this up, you will be needing one cubic yard of soil. The next question is, if you will buy a bag of soil, how many bags you will be needing to fill up one raised bed? So I did the research and I found out that if a bag is 0.75 cubic feet, you will be needing 36 bags. And if you have a 1 cubic foot of bag, you will be needing 27 bags to fill up one raised bed so here are the example 
of how many bags you'll be needing. If you will build more raised beds, I will suggest you to call a landfill company nearby your town and let them deliver you soil. In my case, I ordered four cubic yards of soil as you can see here and this cost me like 200 something 248 let's say and this soil is good because it is a blend soil it's already have compost in it 50% compost 25% loam soil and 25% topsoil so as you can see here they look really good soil and a healthy soil so i have to fill up my two beds and the leftover soil will be needing in the future i can put it in my container garden i can put it in my pot so, so i would rather have extra soil if you like this video go ahead like subscribe and ring the notification bell for more videos to come thank you so much god bless everyone and happy gardening love you all bye